All right, good morning. I'm taking my own advice today and I got up early to create, but also to make sure I get my workout in because I want to talk about how important your mental health is to create. Now, obviously a lot of artists are fueled by anguish. That's not a mystery. We all know that. But that doesn't mean you should just wallow in your grief, right? You really need to express yourself and I think it needs to come out in more than one way not just artistically for me it's Brazilian jiu-jitsu which is very creative to me and working out and I'm gonna go do that I'm gonna go get my workout in and do some more creating I it really fuels me up I also want to talk about this guy here you're all familiar with it I'm sure if you're a film fanatic if you're into film photography you probably know the Nikon F3 this camera is definitely an icon but I don't use it. I bought this camera and I've used it like once. And I want to talk about why I've only used it once. And that's because it's too nice. I, I bought a camera that looked brand new. I mean, it's a Nikon F3 that looks brand new. And I'm not a collector. I like to shoot. But when it looks brand new, I don't want to be the guy that ruins it because it's finite. They're not going to make more F3s. And the more time that passes, the fewer you're going to have that look like this. So I don't want to be the guy that ruins it, but I'll tell you why I bought it. I bought it because as a kid and a lover of photography, I never thought I could afford the best. I never thought I could afford a Nikon F3 or the medium format cameras I wanted. I shot with the Canon Elon, I think it was the Elon 2. You know, mediocre, nothing special. That would have been fine, but I had a terrible kit lens. And so when I had the money, when I was finally successful enough with my professional photography, I was like, okay, I'm going to buy the best SLR I could buy. So I bought it. I got it. I shot it once. I was like, okay, it's too nice. It's just too nice. I can't ruin it. So I'm going to put it back in its bubble wrap. And I've thought about even selling it because, you know, I'd rather like someone that wants to use it should use it or... I can buy something I'll actually use, which is preferable to me. Also, some other news I bought. I finally, <laughs> finally am getting to shoot with my Leica M3 because I finally have a lens for it. Um, I'd show you guys up close, but I know it won't pick up on it because, oh, there it goes. The Canon face detect is really, really good, and so sometimes it won't lock onto the camera. But I ended up getting a Voigtlander. Everything I saw online seemed to be suggest that it's just almost as good as a Summicron or a Leica equivalent. It's just more modern, which isn't really what I wanted, but I just got tired of waiting. I might still, I might not keep it. I'm not 100% sure. The Leica store said they can hold me a Summicron that they have, and I might pick that up. I haven't decided yet. If anyone shoots with a Leica and has input, I'd really appreciate it. You can't find any definitive info is how I feel. I've looked online for really solid comparison tests, and I haven't found many that compare the Voigtlander to the Leica equivalent. So if anyone has some info on that, let me know. I'm off to the gym, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.